Hi everybody. Okay, in a previous video we showed how to connect Faceware Studio via the LiveLink plugin over to a MetaHuman in Unreal Engine. And so we're just working that already here. That setup is in place and if you need to learn about that, there's a link to the original video in the description. So this tracking data is being sent live over to the MetaHuman. The MetaHuman is responding because we are in simulation mode. I stop that we can just double check our setup here and in the actor in the scene we have the face we're live component added in and we also have the face component configured to use the face we're metahuman uh, animation blueprint so when we play you know face we're still playing in the background over here and this metahuman is following right along so that's great so we're going to look at recording and using the recording of this facial performance in Unreal Engine. So to do that, we're gonna use the Take Recorder. Go up to Window, Cinematics, and choose Take Recorder. Do not choose Sequence Recorder. This is old and being depreciated. It's not gonna be in probably future versions of Unreal. Use the Take Recorder. This is the new recording system. Now, it's gonna open up a sequencer window. We won't need that, but uh, Take Recorder is using some of the functionality for what it's doing behind the scenes. And in order to record the data for our MetaHuman, we're going to add it as a source to the Take Recorder. So I have the actor in the level selected. I'll click on Source from Actor and then choose the name of this actor. Now, this is a little bit overzealous by default. It's going to record everything about this character. And really, we just want the facial animation and nothing more. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this uh, uh, source. And in here, we're going to actually uncheck everything because basically everything is on and with everything unchecked we just can select the one thing that we're interested in we'll just scroll down here to face and check the animation track that's all we want is the facial animation uh, you know down here further there's the face we're live data and again we don't need this all we're recording is actually the changes on the face itself so that's what we're set up to record we're good to go Let's give this a name. Uh, the line here is you should try this. So YSTT will be the name of my slate. This will be take one and we're ready to go. So we'll just go ahead and hit this record button. We get a countdown and now we're recording. You should try this. Great. We're all set and stop. So there we go. The recording is now being finalized into our U asset files and it will now be in this cinematics folder that Take Recorder created. So we're all set there. But now we need to be able to use that in an animation. So let's close out our Take Recorder. Let's go ahead and stop the simulation. Uh, I'll be using the sequencer in a little bit. But one thing we need to do is convert our actor to be able to respond to sequencer. Remember right now click on the face component of this actor, it's set up to respond to Faceware Studio. And as a result, it's not going to be able to respond to animation on a sequencer track. So let's go ahead and uh, switch this back to the default face blueprint. So I'll click on this and in search, I'm just going to type the word face. And down here, we want face anim BP. This is the standard metahuman face animation blueprint and in this way we'll be able to uh, animate this face with the uh, animation that we recorded. All right so simplest thing to do really is I'm just going to go into cinematics and I'm going to create a new sequence to use uh, with this metahuman. So I'm just going to right click and go to animation and new level sequence and this I'll just name uh, YSTT Animo one. All right. And so this sequence is blank and it's fully editable. I'll click on my actor, which now has the standard face blueprint, and we're going to add a track for that. So we'll click actor to sequencer, and there it is right up top because it's selected. Now, by default, this actor is going to get added in with the control rig. So we're not going to need those tracks, so let's go ahead and delete those from both the body and for the face. And then finally, we're just going to add our animation track that got recorded to the face track here. So we just click on Add Track to Face, we'll go to Animation, and all the list of uh, available animations for the face will be here. 
And so here's the recording I just did, take two. If I did a previous recording, there it is, take one. So they're all saved in the uh, project. If I wanted to uh, be able to find these in a long, 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 long list, I could always type in YSTT. And of course, we're now sorted out just by those. And it'll select that. All right, that puts the recorded animation track on the timeline of the sequence. And there we go. So that's how to put that together. You are all set to record face animation from Faceware Studio and then put it in your own sequence to play it back. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.